their affordable sports cars. They're a huge pain in the ass to sell. I get calls every single day from people in their late 40s to mid 50s just to tell me the stories about the Fiero that they had back in 1987. Honestly, I don't care about your 1987 Pontiac Fiero that you had in 1987. I just wanna sell mine, that's it. I'll, I'll be friends with you, I'll make a transaction with you, I'll help you out if you need help. I don't wanna hear your stories over and over and over and over and that's all I get calls for are people calling to tell me about the Fiero that they had and oh, how it lights up on fire in the rear of the car, how this has this problem and his was that when he had it and hey, have you checked this? Oh, that car is worth much more than you're asking for it. Good, you wanna buy it? Oh no, but you should be asking more money. I get people that just wanna to talk to me every single day about my Fiero. That's it. They email me. They call me. They text me. It's ridiculous. You want to buy the car? No. I'm just interested in it. Oh, I just want to tell you about the one I had when I was younger. Good looking car though. Good luck selling it all day long. That's what I get every single day. It's a huge pain in the